Right, we're getting ready to fit the uh, outer cover now. Uh, we've done that nut up. It doesn't matter really what gear it's in. Um, I've fitted the remainder of the uh, inner gearbox uh, bolts. There's one there and there's one under there. I've also replaced the studs, <laughs> which I've forgotten to do before. They should have been on really before I put the inner casing on. I just completely forgot. Uh, so there's these two long studs that got all the way, all the way through uh, to the crankcase. Okay, then I've got the outer case. We've got our well seal on. I just need to put the kickstart on, kickstart lever, and tension the spring so that when the bike's actually, you know, when it's on, the kickstart lever will return to the top. So that's under tension. And then let's have a look. Yeah, and then I'll get those two studs on first. Can. tension on the kickstart and the covers on and uh, so I just need to uh, do up the uh, mounting screws the unscrews and the two nuts for the studs and we're done oh by the way this isn't this is a t160 kickstart lever that I just had to uh, borrow because I was supplied, the engine was supplied without a gear lever and without a kickstart lever. So as this one is actually off the other bike I'm working on, I've just put it on temporarily to tension the spring. But that's uh, that's why it might look a bit odd, it's a T160 kickstart lever. And there we are. Gearbox uh, cover on, gearbox all finished. Hurrah. So uh, just a few things to note. Obviously, I'll be polishing the cover back up. It's all got oil and guns all over it, you know, fitting. So it'll all be polished before, uh, you know, before I hand the engine back. Um, also, I've realised that there's an odd collection of uh, uh, nuts and bolts holding the um, outer cover on. So I'll, I'll get some uh, nice new stainless steel ones just to finish things off properly. And then uh, also underneath uh, the gearbox, we've got two items that screw in underneath. Uh, so we've got the uh, gearbox plunger. We've mentioned that before. That's what uh, locates onto the cam plate in the gearbox. And that's the plunger spring loaded. Um, and um, this is a ball tipped plunger. All right, so this is an upgrade. The original plungers just were just solid. Um, and David Drew makes these upgrades. And it just means that the uh, the plunger just uh, moves a bit easier, more easily on the cam plate, or rather the cam plate moves more easily across the plunger with this ball tipped uh, uh, item. Um, because they can be a bit notchy, the gearboxes, can be a bit stiff. And this just helps them uh, move that bit more easily. So I'd always recommend changing to a, a ball tip plunger. Uh, I think he advertises mainly on um, eBay. So I think if you look up ball tipped uh, gearbox plunger or Triumph, uh, uh, gearbox plunger, ball tip uh, plunger, you should find them. Not that expensive, but always uh, worth a little upgrade, it's worth it. And I'll screw that back in in a minute. Uh, and I'll probably put some thread lock on uh, as an additional to try and you know, to try and stop it leaking. And then there's the uh, combined drain and level plug. So this is actually the drain plug for the gearbox, but also it's the level plug. So if you remove the little nut, then this uh, pipe is, goes all the way through. So then you fill the gearbox full of oil through our filler here. And then when oil starts dribbling out the bottom, it means it's reached the top of the tube. So you know that's the correct level because there is actually a gap, believe it or not, inside the gearbox that this tube finds. And so then you put the little nut back on and you know the level's right. Uh, and just to mention, yeah, because this is a T150 or Rocket 3, later T160s, uh, they had dipsticks. Um, so I've been meaning to say for ages, don't forget that I'm doing this T150V, 
but the engines changed year by year you know there were always continuous upgrades and so on so um some things will change as uh, uh, you know as time goes on that they'll be on a a, um, a later engine but not on an earlier engine okay um but i think these were standard all the way through uh, up until the t160 and again these were changed slightly for the t160 but i think you can use either uh, it's a very different um, style of housing in the t160 okay uh but gearbox all done very happy beginning to look like an engine again so uh next thing will be to turn the engine round and start doing the clutch and primary chain case we'll get in there get in there